So today we're knocking out another uh, job interview question, and this one's going to be based on strings. Now remember, strings are going to be different than arrays. Arrays are easily mutable. Strings are immutable characters, so um, or rather um, elements. So we have to do things a little bit differently. So this question, given a string, are all the characters unique? Uh, so we should give a true or false return. First, I'm going to show you how you could use this if you're just using by, uh, Python built-in structures, and then I'll show you how we could create our own lookup function. So, first off, we're going to define what unique is going to be. And what are we passing through? Nothing more than a string. You could even write string if you want. And first thing I'm going to do, I want to replace spaces. So let me, let me first show you what I'm going to be passing through. All right, so when we're very done with that, when we're done with the whole thing, I'm going to be passing through the following string. A space B space C D E F. So we're going to be passing, um, again, if, if, all the if all the characters are unique. But I have these spaces in here because I don't like when people just do like, you know, A, A, B, B, C. It's just, it's not, it's not reflective of what you do in real world. In real world, you're going to have spaces, you're going to have capitals, you're going to have lowercases, and it's a good idea to understand replace methods, lowercase methods, and uh, and so on. And you're, you're going to see me use it a lot in a lot of the um, algorithms that we use. So I just want to get rid of any spaces that are in there. So to do that, we're just going to reassign what string is going to mean. And I'm just going to tell it I want to replace it. So we're going to dot, re dot replace method. What I want to do? Well, I want to tell it Right now there might be spaces, and I want to replace it with no spaces. All right? So that's all we're doing there. We're just going to fix that up so string is a little bit cleaner. Now, um, we're going to, the easiest way to do this using Python built-in structures is with a set. Um, and remember, a set is an unordered collection of unique elements. So it's giving us unique elements. It's just not going to be uh, ordered. We don't care about order. So therefore, if we can create both of, if we can create our string, that is going to be in a set, um, then it's very easy to see if, uh, comparing the length of it, if it's going to be unique or not. So all we have to do at this point is do a return. What are we returning? I want to return the length of set string. Whoops, a daisy. So we're creating a set of the string, and I want to know is it equal to the length of the string. Am I on unique? I'm on unique. Uh, let me drop this down to a floating window. So it tells me true. So remember, whenever we're doing um, anything with, with uh, parentheses, always work from the inside out. So this is going to be, this operation is going to be done first. It's going to create a set of our string, which is the string is the input. And again, remember the string, we took, we took out the spaces. So uh, actually, let's do this. Let's debug it as we go through it. Nope. I wanted to run debug. Yep. I'm not going to need anything else. That's fine. So it's going to put our unique string into memory. And we can see we still have our spaces are held intact. And we're going to get to this next link. As we execute line number nine, it's going to replace the spaces. So you can see in memory, now we uh, no longer have spaces within our string. So now we're taking, take a set of this string. This is already ordered. So it doesn't make a difference, but a set is unordered. So take a set from our string, which is going to be exactly this, only unique elements. So we'll do repeats in just a second. Um, and then does that equal the length of the string? Well, the length of the string is one, two, three, four, five, six. And how many unique elements are there going to be in this? A set of the string is going to be six. So does the length of six equal six? Does the length of that equal six? Yes, it does. It's true. So it's going to return true. Um, so we'll finish just debugging this so you can see that was going to be it. So let's, um, let's mess with it. Let's put a non-unique element in. So now we get a false. Why? I'm not going to say because the, the B is, is uh, redundant, and that's true, but let's see what's going on in the code. So we have our string. String's going to take out the spaces. So now if you wanted to see um, a length of the string is what? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's equaling seven right now. The length of a set of that string. Remember, a set is an unordered collection of unique elements only. Well, this was seven for the length of the string. How many unique elements do we have? One, two, we're skipping that second because it's not unique. Three, four, five, six. So does six equal seven? False. So that's a, that's a nice quick way you can use uh, built-in um, Python structures for that operation. Now, we're going to do the same exact problem, find the unique elements, but without using uh, Python built-in, give me that, without using Python built-in functions. So uh, the way we're going to do this is the same thing in terms of defy unique. We're going to pass, we'll just call it S for now, so it's easier to type. We're going to define the function unique, and it's going to pass a string through it. And just like before, I want to replace the spaces with no spaces. Because again, the inputs are going to be, uh, I want to make this a little bit more real life. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our characters. We're going to make a variable characters, characters within the element, and we're going to put them into a set. Now we need to iterate over this string to see what we're going to add into, uh, remember, we only want to add unique elements into this set. And again, yes, it will be unordered. So for letter in S, oops a daisy, we're going to iterate through that string that we're putting through. Um, so again, just so we have a, me a mental idea of what we're doing. And the string that I said will pass, uh, what did we do before? We did a space, B space, C, D, E, F. So we'll pass our string, um, which we, right now we know has all unique elements, so it, it, better be, uh, it better be true in terms of the return. So for letter in S, we're going to do now the if. If the letter in characters, if it's going to return false or if it's going to return true. So four letters in S, is that is that in characters? Because remember, characters is a set at this point. And if it's not, then we want to do something with that. So if letter in characters, and right now it's an empty set, nothing to, we want to return false. Because if this is going through, let's say we had this, BB, well, as it goes through the code, we're going to do an append in a moment or add it to the set. Imagine there was an A and there was a B. When it gets to this second B, if the letter is in characters, B is, well, that's true. Then this, we want it to return false because then it's not a unique pair of elements. So what we want to do is that if it's not, if there is nothing in characters, if that, if that particular letter or element is not in our character set yet, what do we want to do? Well, we want to add. And what are we adding? We're the letter because that's what we're iterating through. It could have been I or, you know, S or whatever you wanted to put in it in, in, uh, to identify your iterator. That's what you would have done there. So characters not add letter. So now if it does not exist within character set, we're going to be adding it. Um, and then when we're done with that loop, when we're done with the iteration, we're going to return true. Uh, because if we did hit a repeat letter, we already are going to be stopping here at returning false. Uh, if we do not hit any repeat letters, then we will return true. So let me see, um, unique, I got a false. Oh, because I put a BB. <laughs> so we return to false. Um, if I take out that B, let me run it again. I should get a true, good. Let's take them out of uh, sequential order. Um, you know, out of alphabetical order rather. Let's do uh, LKJ. Uh, our W. So we know that this, these are all unique characters. So we got a true. And if I replicate one of them, I'll put a J over here. And we should get a false. Awesome. So let's just quickly run through a debug on this. So we can say we're thorough. F8 through it. And get this out of the way for a second. So you can see in memory, we put our string into memory. We're going to replace out the spaces so we just have a set string characters equals a empty set so we're going to have right now memory so four letter in s s is our string above up here four letter in characters so we're going to fa through so it's going to take the first letter which is i if letter is in characters right now characters is empty 
return false, but that was false, so we're going to skip that and jump down to the next piece. Otherwise, characters.add letters. Well, right now, letter is I, so we're going to add what? Characters.i. So when I go through this, it should add I. Wonderful. And then it's going to go through L. If letter in characters is not in characters, so we're going to jump down to our L statement, which is characters add. So we're just adding these individual elements. And let's get to a J. Here we go with the J. And you will notice that. Where am I here? I want to get to that second J so you can just see how. Oh, damn it, I missed it. There's J, and remember, again, a set is an unordered pair, so this we're running at this time, it's a different order than it was before. Um, what are we now? We're on E, so the next letter is going to be J. So now we're on J, but look in our character set, we already have a J right here. So if letter is in character set, well, that's going to be true. It is in character set already. We're looking at J right now through this iteration, and it is in the character set. So what are we going to do? If this is true, we're going to go to the next part of that, that if loop, which is going to be return false. So return false is now going to be executed. And sure enough, in our output, we'll be given a false because it is false. And if we took that out, then uh, going through it, same thing, we're going to have it replace it out. It's just going to run through the characters for each individual letter, and it's never going to find it's going to always find that every letter is unique. Every element is unique. It does not find it within the character set that we created. So we'll end up returning true at the very end of it all. Thank you guys. Play with the code. Memorize it. Put it down in the brain. And I will see you in the next video.